Today, I sat with Colossians 3.12, letting the words wash over me like a gentle wave. Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering. I thought about the word elect, chosen, yes, chosen by God himself. It's an overwhelming thought to know that I'm not an afterthought, a mistake, or a burden. I am chosen, and not just chosen, but holy and beloved. Set apart, cherished, valued, loved. Tears welled in my eyes as I embraced the truth of that statement. But then, I was struck by the call to put on these qualities. They are not just qualities to admire, they are garments to wear, attitudes to embrace, choices to make, moment by moment. I imagined myself clothed in tender mercies, a heart overflowing with compassion, with a soul stirred by the suffering of others. I saw myself extending a hand, offering a listening ear, giving a hug with word of encouragement. I envisioned myself in kindness with a gentle spirit radiating from my being, my actions driven by a deep desire to do good, to offer grace, to build up, not tear down. I pictured myself adorned with humility, recognizing my limitations, acknowledging my dependence on God, putting others first, finding joy in serving, rather than being served. I felt the embrace of meekness, a gentle strength that resisted anger and rage. A spirit that responded to conflict with grace and forgiveness. I saw myself wearing the cloak of long-suffering, not as a burden, but as a shield. My love refusing to be extinguished by hardship, my patience enduring through trials, my heart choosing to stay open to those who need my love the most, even when it's tempting to give up. The more I pondered these virtues, the more I realized that they weren't just about how I interacted with others, but about how I lived out my relationship with God. These qualities were the very fabric of His character. I thought back to the stories in the Bible. I saw Jesus' heart revealed in everyday actions, healing the sick, comforting the grieving, extending grace to sinners, washing his disciples' feet, responding to anger with love, and enduring betrayal with unwavering love. These qualities were woven into the tapestry of Scripture, a constant reminder of what it meant to be a follower of Christ. I realized that I wasn't just called to believe in God. I was called to reflect his character, to walk in his steps, to let his love flow through me. Oh. A wave of peace washed over me, not the peace of a world that offered temporary comfort, but the peace that comes from knowing that I am loved, chosen, and called to a life of purpose and grace. I am chosen to be a conduit of God's love, a bearer of His light, a citizen of His kingdom. And as I learn to put on these garments, to live out His character, I realize that this is the kingdom living, a living that expressed God in me, a living that will transforming me, one step at a time.